This week we found a couple of Irish products you might be interested in and they just happened to turn up in time for our annual edible seaweed harvesting trip. This is where we come for our seaweed because it's beautiful, it's local and because at low tide there's a great variety of seaweed to choose from. All this is good seaweed for the garden but no good for eating. We need the live weed that's still growing on the rocks. Luckily, there's lots of it. Basically, there are three sorts of seaweed, brown, green and red, with lots of types of each colour. But it gets a bit complicated because they change colour as they dry out or get cooked. Luckily, we bought the book. Just as well. Extreme green. <laughs> sea lettuce. Mm. I'd say so. I'd say so. Yeah. And then the sea grass looks kind of a bit different. You could spend a lot of time trying to work out the names of each sort, but you don't need to do that. Just choose two or three that you really like and go with those. Mm -hmm. Go on, try some. Salty. The green are in the book. Great colour though, isn't it? Apparently seaweed is good food and cures practically all known ills but it is very strong flavoured too and you really don't need much. Plenty. Hello. Well this one has little um, reproductive growths all over it. Maybe we'll leave those there. As far as I know, none of our seaweeds are poisonous, but obviously if they are growing in a polluted area, they shouldn't be eaten. Some really are good eating, but to be honest, some just aren't very nice at all. You'll just have to work out which ones you like. Don't tear it off the rocks, just give it a trim and it will grow back for next time. The snails are cute, aren't they? <laughs> Feeling her very full. We're collecting a little bit of many sorts. Sally's book is full of recipes, so we're going to try some new ones and we'll let you know how we get on in the next few weeks. Of course, as with all of nature, the more you look, the more you see and quickly we get distracted by other things living here on the shore. Ooh. I need to go back. Here you go, guys. Mm -hmm. See this fish here? Mm. And then there's this little man as well. That's a fish. Mm. Ah. A long one. Ooh. Ah, big. <laughs> Slime mold, and then the knees, limpet, little winkles, periwinkles, big biggest star. fish, and there's a sort of Squelchy thing, don't know what that is. Squelchy thing. Well, technically speaking. What is it? Another little crab. Two sorts of crabs. And a gooey thing there. Big gooey thing. Where is it? Oh, there. Gooey Anemone. Thing. And then there was a big fish down here. Oh, lovely onion. Escape. You're trying to escape. Yep. You go back that way. Here you go. Present yeah. for you. What is it? Different sort of starfish. Hmm. Looks like one of those uh, chocolate stars you can buy.
Wow, this tastes amazing. Fresh this mixture of, I don't know, salt pot and, um, and fishy, some sort of fishy, fishiness. Amazing. Yeah, it's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it nice or is it horrible? I don't know. You wouldn't really want to eat much on its own, but uh, you can imagine it nice in, in, um, in a dish. Cup of tea then. Cup of tea then. And this is the Kelly Kettle. They come in different sizes and this is the largest, but they all have this very clever design. The water container itself has a hole right up through the middle of it. So the whole thing acts as a chimney, helping the fire burn well and getting the heat to the water too. Of course, real campers would use driftwood or rub two seagulls together or something, but it's been raining, so I brought some scrap wood from the workshop. I remembered the wood and the matches, but we both forgot the tea bags. Luckily, there is always nettles somewhere nearby. We'll be doing another video on drying and cooking with seaweed using recipes from Sally's book. And you did were fast, but I didn't think it was that fast. Mm. Come on, are you brave enough? And there's more to show you about the Kelly kettle too. Mm. But those can wait for another day. Now then, make us a cup of tea, will you Tim, please? Check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching.